Excel 2007, what has changed? Excel 2007 looks different from Excel 2003. It's probably most noticeable to you when you look at the top of the window. The menus and toolbars have been reorganized into an area at the top of the window called the ribbon. The functions that you need are now more clearly visible and more readily available. Instead of having 30 or so hidden toolbars buried on menus, you have them all on the ribbon. Functions are now available in tabs and groups on the ribbon. With a bit of practice, you'll discover that the commands you already know how to use are grouped together in ways that make a lot more sense. The ribbon is made up of tabs, groups and commands. Tabs. There are seven tabs across the top of the ribbon. Each tab represents core groups of tasks you do in Excel. Let us begin with the first tab. It is called the Home tab. The functions and commands on the Home tab are the ones that you are going to use most often. Groups. You will notice that in each tab, the commands that you're likely to need for a particular type of task are placed together in groups. Throughout the task the groups remain on display and readily available. In the past, these would have been hidden in menus. But now these commands remain visible while you are doing the task. Commands A command can be a button, a box to enter information, or a menu item. The commands on the ribbon are the ones you use the most often. Commands can also be context sensitive. In other words, instead of showing every command all the time, Excel 2007 shows some commands when you may need them, in response to a particular task. Another new feature is the Microsoft Office button. The Microsoft Office button is located in the upper left corner of the window. When you click on the Microsoft Office button, you will see a menu drop down. ULL notice that this menu is packed with useful commands. For example, click Excel options at the bottom of the menu to access the options. In previous versions of Excel, you could see such options in the Options dialog box, which was opened from the Tools menu. Now many of those options are here, where they are more visible, and conveniently close at hand when you start work on old files or new ones. That is the end of this presentation on the Excel 2007 interface. It may be new and it may be different and even be a bit scary for some users, but take the time to become familiar with it.